and I hope tom tomorrow and later in the week that we do get to make changes that impact people's lives because it's important that people know that government are here to try and make people's lives better uh, and we are trying to balance uh, to find that happy medium that Elaine talked about uh, between reducing the, the impact of inflation and not exa exacerbating that. Look, Claire, I have heard the stories here tonight and I can understand them. Two years ago, I wasn't a TD. I got an eye-watering ESB bill uh, last week. I wouldn't have been able to pay it two years ago. I did that midnight run after 12 o'clock to get the shop and waiting for your wages to into, into, into the account. But I promise you, the values that I have and the ones that Sean Fleming has are the same. And what Sean was saying, it's very clear from the interview, not just 30 seconds, the whole wide range of interview, um, was that one of the elements for, to reduce domestic uh, inflation is that people are competitive in where they shop. But that will never solve uh, an international fuel uh, a crisis. That will never solve international fuel. You go to the BBC, if you go to uh, any of the European channels, all of these countries are dealing with this issue. We want to solve the problem and we want to make sure okay. that in doing that, we don't make it worse. Because remember, in the past care, governments have made it worse and they've driven the economy off the cliff. All we right. have to make sure that but that you can understand happen. how frustrating it is for people who are shopping around and have been for years and years and years to be told that it's up to them to go out and get better value. But I, I hear what you're saying and, and I accept. It's uh, not just frustrating, Claire. Yeah. It's impacting their very existence. And we, I, I understand that and many people in government understand it too. Okay.